So I will start off with a question of my own. Do you think there are any situations where MI doesn't work? For example, if a, a patient, you know, just doesn't have any motivation at all, or um, are there particular patients that um, you might use a different strategy? MI presupposes that patients do have some motivation to improve their lives and and you know, they're doing things that are inconsistent with their goals and values. So what we can do then is really work on finding out what really matters to this patient. And for demoralized patients or depressed patients, this can be challenging to do, um, but it sometimes is a slow process of working with them, developing trust, and then working on developing confidence as well. So, what really often underlies a patient lacking energy, I would say, to, to move forward and make changes is, is, an in, is an inability to believe that they can actually do it. This can undermine you know, everything we're doing with the patient. So uh, if we work at that as well, so increasing confidence, increasing self-efficacy, pulling out from them other experiences that they've had in their life that they succeeded at, that they didn't think they could succeed at. Um, affirming their strengths and recognizing those. So we need to help patients sometimes gently move along that path to believing it's possible. Um, so we can try to elicit motivation as much as we want to, but if they don't believe it can happen, uh, that will undermine it. We see that a lot with weight loss patients.